Welcome. What is up, Mixer? Welcome to This Week in the Mixer, episode 13, week 12 edition. Um, after a one-week hiatus, we are back. Hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. Want to be among the first to wish you a very Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Happy Kwanzaa to Matt. This week's going to be kind of different than previous weeks. Um, no notes. So I just printed up the scores. So we're doing it fucking live. Um, quick and dirty. Uh, Jeff style, as I like to call it. And, uh, and yeah, that's how, that's how we're going to do it. It's a busy time of year at work when um, I'm usually typing up <laughs> these notes when I should be working. Um, but in reality, we just have a lot of downtime and there's uh, not much work to do. So... That's the shit that I do um, when I'm killing time. It's typing up notes for, for you lovely folks. So let's get straight into it. Week 12 recaps. We're going to start off with Anthony versus Jake first. Um, Anthony's been on a little bit of a skid lately. His team hasn't been performing as they were during that seven game winning streak. I believe um, he's had two off weeks. He was hit with buys this week, um, as indicated by his total score. He did get 23 for Matt Ryan, who had a good day against the Saints. Uh, Lamar Miller had that huge 97-yard run on Monday Night Football. He gave Anthony 24. Sadly, the rest of his team didn't do too much. Duke Johnson got four. Allen Robinson got five points. Uh, John Ross got a touchdown, so there's that for a spot, spot start. Andy Dalton uh, to the DL, or IR, after this matchup, though. So Anthony's going to have to find some replacement uh, points for his uh, for his QB2. Um, and his total is just nowhere near what his team is capable of. Anthony doesn't crack the century mark this week. He ends up with 99 points. Jake, on the other hand, had a had another good week. He's quietly one of the better teams in the in the league. He's just been I know he lays low in the chat, but uh, his team's been making noise on the scoreboard. Cam Newton got 24 points, another solid day. Ezekiel Elliott 26. Adam Humphreys a nice spot start. 17 points for Jake uh, and Kirk Cousins a little bit of a return to form. He put up 30 Against the Packers. Uh, I think it was the first time he had thrown for three touchdowns in Eight weeks or something. Um, I know I heard that stat somewhere But Jake does enough He gets the win that he needs to, to keep pace with the rest of the hose division as he takes down Anthony 151 to 99 next up we have Matt versus Sean. Matt drew a tough final three for his uh, weeks, I guess 11, 12, and 13 schedule. He got he got Anthony last week, um, Sean this week, and he's got Mason next week. So schedule makers were not kind to Matt. How do he do in week 12? Russell Wilson's back. Back to form, he got 24 points. Leonard Fournette got 25 before getting ejected for throwing punches uh, in a play that he didn't even play on. Uh, not sure what happened there. Oh, look, hey, there's Jeff. Uh, so um, he's going to miss the next game, but he did get 25 this week for, for Matt. Aaron Jones, he's been having a hell of a second half of the year now that Mike McCarthy is, went with him over Jamal Williams. He got 18 points. Uh, OBJ could have done more, only got 13. He had a huge first half, um, and then the Giants stopped throwing. And they still lost 25 to 22. Not that they, I, maybe they're tanking, who knows. Uh, TY got 20. Eric Ebron keeps having an inexplicably good year. He got 21. Uh, Deshaun Watson was the QB1 on the week. He got 31 for Matt. So a pretty impressive week for Matt's squad. He ends up 168. Sean, um, his team's been hit or miss since uh, starting starting super hot. Uh, the Rams are on bye this week. I think he's got a few Rams players in his lineup. But uh, Roethlisberger got 24. 
had a decent day. Juju got 38, including, I think, maybe a 97-yarder of his own. 97 yards seems to be the long touchdown of choice this week. Um, but, yeah, he got 38. Pretty pretty huge day for Juju. Um, curious where his points on the season relate to Antonio Brown. they got to be close. Juju might be ahead of him. Pretty impressive year for the second-year receiver. The rest of Sean's team, not much. Kamar only got nine. James White got eight. Michael Thomas got seven, who kept me from winning $100 on back-to-back -back weeks in DraftKings. So thank you, Michael Thomas, for not showing up, really. Uh, Jack Doyle, his tight end, got injured. Uh, he, wow, I just noticed this. He went with the rare running back super flex play uh, with Marlon Mack. He got 11 points, so... Um, maybe Sean doesn't have a QB3. Uh, it's kind of an interesting play. Either way, Sean didn't really need the win. He's probably got a playoff spot locked up. Um, he is in the fight for that first round bye. So, a little surprised that he's starting a running back in that super flex spot when you could probably pick up a QB off the waiver wire that can put up more than 11. Not that he went in knowing that it would, but... Again, QBs have the higher floor. You know, they're going to score between 10 and 20 points pretty much every week. These running backs could score between 2 and 20 at maybe at the best. So, things to keep in mind. A little free advice for watching these wonderful videos. Um, Sean falls to Matt, 168 to 122. To 122. Matt with the crucial win, just like Jake, to keep pace with that three-way battle for the Hose Division. Um, it's not in the right order, but since we're sticking with that three-way battle, we'll go to my matchup next. Me, I took on Zach. It was pretty close. Uh, a little bit of a nail-biter for me on Monday Night Football, which is always fun. Lamar Jackson has been clutch these past two weeks. Um, didn't get the win last week, but he helped me this week. Uh, he got 21 points, doing most of his damage in the second half. Joe Mixon has been great since coming off of his injury. 21 of his own. Kenyon Drake showed up. A little bit of magic. I think Charlie helped out on that one as, uh, as Zach messaged me about. Um, he got two touchdowns, 96 total yards on 13 touches. So I lucked out there. I had Jordan Howard slotted in there who only scored two points. In the last minute, I was like, Jordan Howard season just isn't coming so I put in Kenyon Drake threw up that prayer and it hit so Chuck if you help me out with that one thanks man wish I could do more for you um Antonio Brown 15 points um expect a little more but I'll take it Julian Edelman got 18 Tyler Boyd got 21 hopefully he can do it with the backup quarterback now that uh, Dalton's hurt Gronkowski, somewhat back, got 14 points. Hope for a little bit more from him. Going to need him this week. Um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, Stafford had a very Matthew Stafford day. 200 yards, no touchdowns, 7 points. Oh, God. Uh, this is what I get for drafting him. I did it half as a joke, and this is, yeah, I'm paying the price. Um, Chargers defense did a little. I end up with 151 on the week. For Zach, he had a pretty good week as well. Um, just came up a little bit short. Rivers had that great day. He didn't quite put up the fantasy numbers indicative of how dominant he was. They took the foot off the gas. I'd say after the first drive in the second half, they were just so far ahead, and the Chargers were able to move the ball at will. Uh, I believe Rivers finished the day 28-29, of 29, just under 300 yards. I think it was 289 yards passing or something, and two, two maybe three touchdowns. Uh, it amounted to 22 points for Zach. Dalvin Cook seems to be coming back into form. He got 15 for Zach. Philip Lindsay, one of the best waiver wire pickups of the year. 18 points. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins was on Monday Night Football. We'll get back to him. Tyler Lockett got 22 points. Brady got 22. It's a good week for Brady. 
So going into Monday night, I had about a 30 point lead, maybe 35 point lead or something like that. And Zach had DeAndre and the Texans defense. And I was having flashbacks the last year, needing the win. Um, DeAndre kind of knocked me out on a ridiculous tiptoe juggling catch in the end zone uh, that I swore wasn't a catch. And I've talked about it many times. So late in the game, I knew I was up by a little bit. Um, there was a late touchdown. I believe Deshaun Watson hooked up with Demarius Thomas and I couldn't see the numbers and I almost had a heart attack thinking that it was DeAndre. Um, I was watching it on my phone, so that's why uh, I couldn't exactly, on someone's shitty Periscope feed, by the way. Um, so it wasn't my boy with the fantasy points had it up. He usually does it on Sunday. Um, some of you know what I'm talking about, but anyway, uh, it wasn't DeAndre. It was Demarius Thomas got the late touchdown. So with that difference, that would have been a seven point play. I ended up winning by seven points, 151 to 144 and just barely staying alive into the final week, of the regular season, but I will take it. Sorry, Zach. Um, it was a good game. You're a hell of an opponent even better of a man um, hoping for the best for you because I'm gonna need you to come through in week 13 I guess now is a good time to bring it up um, a few years ago my return to the mixer 2013 Zach's first season I may have just stashed away the fantasy karma that I need right now I'm in a three-way tie with Jake and Matt for the division title and what would be a first round bye that goes to the winner of the division. I don't really have the points to get in due to some injuries, due to some bullshit, due to some bad drafting, due to an off year for me. Really need the win against Anthony. I need Zach to beat Jake and need Mason. I think Mason's taking on Matt. Yes, Mason's taking on Matt. So I'm in the hunt. I'm, on, I'm at the bottom. You know, the the this time of year we get the we get the in the hunt standings, the playoff bubble, and there's the one team that has like five things that need to happen for them to get in. That's this guy. So um, really hoping for the best. But back to what I was saying about Zach. 2013, Zach unknowingly um, went over the transaction limit or met the transaction limit and he didn't have a tight end heading into the playoffs and I drafted or I made a deal with him uh, I got CJ Spiller and I picked up Delaney Walkers off of waivers and traded it to him and he went on to win the title I wound up finishing third and yeah, so um, could have left Zach with no tight end. Uh, I'm not saying the reason that, that I'm the reason why he won. I think he handled his um, matchups enough where he didn't really need a tight end to to um, to put away his opponents in that playoff or in that Dirk run in his first year. But I'm hoping the fantasy karma gods will will be kind to me. Give Zach that extra little bit of push to get over Jake. Um, and again, hoping that Mason can take down Matt. Um, and that I can keep the streak alive against Anthony. I'm undefeated against him in the mixer. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a very tilting Sunday, Monday, Thursday. Um, but this is why we play. This is what um, this is what we get excited for. We hope for scenarios like this. Need a miracle. Um, let's hope it happens because usually I'm on the, um, you know, I'm on the, I'm on the losing end of it. Um, but maybe, maybe since a regular season it'll work out. So that's what's going on in the hose division. Um, we do have some other important matchups to go over. Um, Jess versus Jeff. One of these teams are going to miss the playoffs. Uh, well. It depends. It depends. If I win the division, one of these teams is going to miss the playoffs, and Jake's probably going to get in. Um, or 
it's gonna it's just gonna be a shit show between the total points between Jeff, Jess, and Jake, and who gets in. Um, given that scenario, um, so these two were ma mainly playing for points. They wanted to put up as much points as they could. They don't have a record. They're not getting in a record. And uh, they came through. Both teams did really well. Baker got 28 points, looking like he's getting it together. Christian McCaffrey had one of the best best fantasy performance of the year. He got 48 points. Um, I wish I checked the stat line. Maybe he went over 100, 100. I think Mason told me that. Um, he had to have a few touchdowns in there. But really big day for, for Christian McCaffrey. Um, despite getting snubbed in the Heisman, he's showing up. He's showing up in the NFL. Um, James Conner got 11 for Jeff. Corey Davis had a good week. He's the new Amari Cooper, it would seem. Uh, he's on and off. Uh, Kenny Galladay had 14 points. Uh, the only one who really did anything for Matthew Stafford. Um, Kiki Cutie didn't do shit. Austin Hooper. Got eight points, it's pretty decent for a tight end. Chubb, what, what is this the new fucking thing? In the in the flex, in the super flex spot, got 27 points. That's that's a sexy ass move, Jeff. I give you props on that one. Um, that's balls of steel call there, rolling with the with Chubb in that flex spot. Uh, Ravens defense got 19, so pretty big day for for Jeff. For Jeff, one of the he needs he need to put up points. 180 on the week, um, one of the highest scores of the season, probably at least top five, top 10. I know there's been a lot of high scores this season, so not exactly sure where that stands. Uh, Jess did pretty well as, um, as well. Aaron Rodgers only got 13 points. Melvin Gordon got 20 before getting injured. So she's gonna be having that hole in her lineup moving forward. Um, Adam Thielen got 27, Amari Cooper, don't look now. Looks like he's found his spot in Dallas. 39 points. He's tearing it up on Thursday. Uh, Zach Ertz got 22. And Dak Prescott feeding Amari Cooper got 29 points. So all in all, 172 points. Jeff for Jess. Jeff uh, squeaks by by 8, 180 to 70, 172. Uh, Jess getting the points she needed. Uh, Jeff doing so as well. Um, these two are going to be scoreboard watching on a, on, on a Sunday, Monday, uh, just the whole football week. So, um, we'll see how it goes for them. Last matchup. Then I got to get to the game, score some goals, see how it goes. Uh, <laughs> our team desperately needs a win. Kind of like, kind of like my team. Uh, we got Mason versus Danny, who is pretty much checked out until the made bracket rounds. Um, luck keeps having a good good season after coming off that injury got 26 points Saquon got 34 Julio 24 not sure if he got in the end zone uh, Diggs one or excuse me 22 points and an awesome uh, group end zone celebration Breeze got 22 pretty easily just like Mason got 178 this week pretty easily one of the better teams best record in the league uh, maybe the favorite going into the playoffs um anything could happen but mason's looking good danny um keenan allen did well 20 points emmanuel sanders had a good day 21 points uh Jameis got 25 um but yeah danny's mainly just playing for playing for pride at this point playing to stay out of the made punishment uh, for next season that we don't nearly do enough shaming for um, to Sean, I believe, who is the maid uh, currently. But that wraps up week 12 with Mason winning against Danny, 178 to 124. Woo oh man, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a fun week. Like I said earlier. This is why we play the game for weeks like this. Scoreboard watching. Good luck to everyone out there. I really hope the winner of this season, the playoff contenders, are the ones who deserve it. Um, maybe I'm not in that category for deserving. But I put in my time. I've been one of the most consistent teams in the league. Longest playoff, longest active 
streak making the playoffs. I finished third three times. I've had a first round bye three times. Um, yeah, I've been a semifinalist pretty much every year, except the year uh, Justin won. Uh, I lost in the first round, but but yeah, fingers crossed. Um, I'll be tilting with you all. <laughs> I might not even check the mixer thread uh, on Sunday. It just it might be too much. My heart can only take so much. Uh, so that's it. That's week 12. Good luck in week 13. Let's get it, guys. See ya.